Welcome to the Rendezvous Photography YouTube channel. So I have a friend that uh, lives on the banks of Wasilla Lake here in Wasilla. And, and uh, a couple mornings ago, she called me early in the morning and s told me that she has a pretty large gathering of swans out in front of her in front of her house on the lake out there and she thought I might want to go look and see if I could get some pictures of those guys and girls or whatever they are and I said yeah I bet I could do that that sounds like a good way to get me out of the house for a while <clears throat> she was on her way to work so the house was going to be you know there was going to be no one there when I got there but that's okay they have and they have a big dock out in front of their house where they, in the summer times, they swim off of it and, and uh, you know, enjoy the dock. So there was good access to the lake from from her house. So I, I uh, gathered up my, uh, started gathering up all my equipment and she'd sent me, texted me a couple pictures that she'd taken that morning and I looked at those and, you know, trying to decide what lens to take. And I thought, you know what? I think the old 80 to 200 Nikon lens ought to do it. So, yeah, I put that on my old Nikon D200, this old beater lens, and let my truck warm up for a little bit because it's cold and it windows had frozen over. To, and uh, took a while, but anyway... I went on over there, and sure enough, when I pulled down into their driveway, there was swans out there. And I, th I uh, got out of the truck and I walked down there, and and uh, they weren't really afraid of me. They weren't shy at all, and so I started taking pictures with that, you know, with it eighty to two hundred, and and I walked around there. Oh, it must have been an hour or so, and took pictures. There was about, dang, I bet there was 10 or 12 swans there, you know, five or six pairs of swans. And it was a really nice morning. I was there before the sun had even come up. And uh, it was it was great time. It was wonderful being there. I got one. I chose one out of the whole group that I took. And, and I, you know, worked on it and edited it. So let's take a look at that right now. And, uh, and then I'll come back and talk just a little bit about it. All right, let's go. All right, here's that picture I told you I took. Uh, a nice picture. I, I love the lighting uh, when I took this picture. It was, it was early morning, like I said, and the sun had not quite, not quite come up over the mountains at, uh, to the east of me. Or, yeah, to the east of me kind of northeast actually and and the lighting was really soft and it was beautiful morning and and I was watching uh some swans over on the uh, on the far shore there that you see in this picture I was looking that way and, and and I heard a little ruckus behind me so I turned around and and here comes these two swans just uh, scurrying right along in the water and and they swam right past me. This, this, these, this pair of swans. And I took, I think, five pictures of these. But I like this one best because it it does show uh, the the distant shoreline and and the houses and you know and the reflections in the lake. I love the I love the reflections of the of the swans and and the wake that they're creating here. It's just a really nice picture that it, it just says Wasilla, Alaska on it, you know. But so in the distance on the far shore, you'll see some, uh, oh, they're homes and, and businesses. They're on the left-hand side and they're right along the Parks Highway. And you can see light poles lighting the Parks Highway on the, on the, at the bottom of the hill. Uh, on the right-hand side, if you look closely, you'll see some big light poles here. The Parks Highway in this picture, if you went to the left, you're headed towards Anchorage. And it, if you're going towards the right, you're headed towards Wasilla and then on towards uh, Fairbanks. 
on on the left at the top of the hill you see a bigger building that is our home depot store right there anyway this this is a nice picture and and i really <laughs> i really enjoy looking at it i'm i'm real happy the d200 did such a nice job on this uh you'll notice that the swans are are pin sharp and uh and then the background is just just a little bit uh, out of focus. That, that was a great time. So, so I made a print of that uh, of uh, that picture that we just looked at, and we're going to look at it here. It's it's a nice print. I love this print. <laughs> I just love it. Yeah, the, it just came out so nice. This is a uh, Epson uh, cold press natural paper, 13 by 90 inches. The print is 12 by 18 inches, and uh, it just came out beautiful. You can you can see the detail of the swans. Yeah, right there, they're just swimming right along like that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, there's the print. Here's this. Here's what my camera settings were. Of course, this is a Nikon D200. Uh, it's had the 80 to 200 uh, zoom lens, f2.8 uh, zoom. I had it set to 80 millimeter, and uh, and if you figure in the crop uh, factor, that's 120 millimeter. Now my exposure was one eight hundredth of a second at f5, and ISO was 400. This was taken October 24th, 2023. So yeah, great picture. And uh, like I said, I'm happy with that. Anyway, that's my video for today. Uh, please check the link down below and we will, I will have a, uh, a link for you to go to Smug Mug and you'll see this picture. That's all I got for you today, guys and girls. Hope you enjoyed that, and I, I enjoyed taking that one, that picture. I really did. It came out nice. You guys have a good weekend, and I will uh, see you real soon. Good day now. Bye.